Hello and welcome to Royal Jest. Megan's new agent is the inspiration behind Entourage show critics dubbed misogynistic. Megan Markle has a new Hollywood agent who inspired the main character on a Hollywood show controversial for its treatment for women and the LGBTQ plus community. So guys, as we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Meghan Markle has signed with a William Morris Endeavor, the WME Hollywood Agency, which will represent her and a media company, Ashwell, which she co-owns with husband Prince Harry. She will be represented by Endeavor CEO Ari Emanuel as well as Brad Slater and Jill Smaller. Just days before the news of the signing came to light, Megan was seen wearing clothing from her new agent Ari Emanuel's wife, Bren Stout. The news first reported by Variety means Megan will be represented among the likes of other actors such as Ben Affleck, Hugh Jackman and Kenneth Baranak. WME represent musicians such as Alicia Keys, Calvin Harris, and Camila Cavello. Ari Manuel is one of the inspirations behind the infamous Ari Gold character in the hit TV show Entourage. Fictional Ari Gold represents Vin Diesel and Larry David, as does the real-life Ari Manuel, but also represents Entourage series producer Mark Wahlberg, who based the plot of the show loosely on his own experiences in Hollywood. Emmanuel represented Jeremy Piven, who plays Ari Gold in that show, and Entourage creator Doug Allen claimed Ari Emanuel demanded the Ari Gold part be cast to Piven on the special features of the Season 3 Part 2 DVD. Entourage would star a character inspired by Megan's new agent, was a hugely popular show, but it wasn't without widespread criticisms from critics and members of the public for its portrayal of women among other problematic topics. Actor Rex Lee told TMZ in the 20 2009 that crew members made insensitive gay jokes on set. Reviewer Vikram Muthi wrote in his Indian Mawaii column in 2015 how he fell out of love with his show due to the issues with how it treated members of the LGBTQ plus community and women. He said, it only took a couple more years to realize all the flaws that were staring at you in the face. You'll finally hear the racism, the homophobia, and the sustained misogyny buried in the foundation of the series premise.